I'm Virginia McGathy here on the floor at the CME Group reporting to you on the grain market. Today in soybeans, they were lower. Uh, they started out maybe a little bit higher and then started then started drifting lower. So they the futures really were uh, ha have gone lower, but yet they're still holding on to some of the gains that they have, have uh, experienced earlier in the week. There has been some profit taking uh, coming in that since that the USD the crop report on Tuesday, uh, the prices have actually rebounded nicely because there was that big sell off. But we're showing a lot stronger uh, um, exports coming in and bad weather in South America. Uh, really should be giving the market a little bit of a lift. So uh, we expect that, that that's going to give market a lot more volatility coming in next week. And uh, that for sure will give the market a shot in the arm. But still looking very strong and off our lows from before from uh, the crop report that came in on Tuesday. Corn also was a little bit steady to uh, the upside. It's really in a consolidation a uh, area and it keeps it's keeping prices in a very, very tight range today. The, uh, the traders are a little bit cautious about uh, taking in some profit because we're right in the area of where the we're going to pick up the pace of the harvest, certainly in the far south region. But uh, we have to kind of look at the words. There's concerns because the uh, USDA did raise the uh, yield estimates and it, that could definitely you know sit on prices or p certainly put a lid on any kind of a rally uh, but since we've had such a big sell-off uh, the market is just holding in this area we definitely need a lot more fundamental uh, information uh, before we go further always keep in mind that we did start at least two weeks late getting all of our grains in the ground and so the numbers are going to be coming in a little bit later as we get further north in the harvest time so Hopefully that's going to be okay, even though that they have been called for uh, perhaps um, some chilly weather uh, in the Rockies. Uh, if that starts to push over into some of the plain states, uh, there might be, you know, there might be something to think about. Right now it hasn't affected any of the markets, so we're watching that closely. Wheat was also higher. Short covering coming in really boosted prices on concerns that the crop risk uh, below the equator in South America uh, definitely could... Um, have some effect on our market and give us a little bit of uh, support for our market because the world wheat supplies are still pretty plentiful although the last couple of days we've heard that we've been able to eat through some of the supplies so that helps the market and, it, and certainly stabilizes the prices across the board uh, that definitely tells us that there's still going to be a lot more volatility to come that's all from the floor at the CME Group I'm Virginia McGathy.